what's the criteria for judging? Well, it's not just beauty. It also involves poise and intelligence. Now, during the competition tonight, you watching at home are going to see all the judges' scores. They'll appear on your television screens in random order. The judges won't see these scores, and neither will our audience here, just you at home. And to demonstrate what you'll see, let's just assume for the moment that I'm a Miss Teen USA contestant. Need I remind you that at this point, it would be polite to hold all laughter. Thank you very much. As the judges enter their scores, the numbers appear on your screens. Now, to make sure that the scoring represents the majority opinion of our judges, the highest and lowest scores are discarded and will appear as high or low. Also, sometimes during the competition, a judge might enter a score too late for it to appear on your TV screen, so no number will appear. But that judge's score will eventually be tabulated. Scores are averaged for all three competitions, and the top five finishers become our finalists. Got that, Will? Um, uh, what, what was the computer thing again? Uh-uh. The judge? <laughs> was, I got the judges. That was a great job. Great explanation, Marsha. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to begin the first of our competitions, the interview. This is an extremely tense part of the evening. Good luck to you. Take a position over there. We'll see what the judges have to say about Christy Wright. Our fifth semifinalist is Miss Kentucky, Christy Dawn Hicks. Christy's 17 year old senior from Bardstown. She enjoys writing poetry and performing in theatrical productions. Christy Dawn Hicks, you have a great name to be a country western singer. Well, I have a cousin who's uh, an up-and-coming country western singer. Uh, do you ever think about it? No, not really. No. But you, you do work on the radio a little bit, right, in Bardstown? I did at one time. I worked for seven months as a disc jockey at our local radio station, WBRTWOKH. What kind of music was that? Well, on Sundays I played adult contemporary from 6 until midnight, and on Saturday afternoons I played American Country Countdown. Country Countdown. What kind of music do you like personally? Hard rock. Hard rock? <laughs> so you'd throw an Iron Maiden on there between Dolly and Merle every once in a while? I'd like, as much as I'd like to, I don't think I could get away with it. I understand you don't want a career in radio. You want something else. Yes, I'd like to be a broadcast journalist. I think I'd like to step out from behind the microphone in front of the camera. In front of the camera? All right, we're going to give you a chance right now. File your report on how the show has been going so far. By my report? Just file a report right to the camera. Give us a little... That camera right there? Right there. <laughs> Live at San Bernardino in the Orange Showgrounds. Ten semifinalists are all excited as the interview competition continues. Stay tuned to see which one walks away with the crown. There you go. You can't ask better than that. Christy Dawn, Miss Kentucky. Take a position over there. We'll see what the judges have to say. interview competition is only half over. Marsha? You know, 
in a summer of big movie sequels, this is our version, the interview competition part two. The adventure continues. Here are the second five semifinalists, beginning with Miss North Dakota, Heidi Jo Langseth. Heidi's 17-year-old high school graduate. Her poetry has won several awards. And here at the pageant, she won Miss Amity. And I also, I read interesting things about you all. I read your great, great, great grandfather, Hans, was in the uh, Guinness Book of World Records. Yes. He had, he holds a record for the longest beard in the world. And it was, it was 19 and a half feet long, but it's recorded as 17 and a half feet long. And what did he do with that beard? He, um, he used to wash it and he'd hang it. I hope so. <laughs> he, used to, he used to, in the summertime, he'd wash it and he'd sit by the clothesline and wrap it around the clothesline. And in the wintertime, he would um, put it around his neck when he went outside to use as a um, scarf. <laughs> they think old Hans was a little crazy, didn't they? Oh. Now, you just, you just graduated high school, yet you have plans not to go right to college. Why is that? Um, I want to take this year off just to kind of let myself grow up and take it easy for a while, work this year, and just see what comes up. I'm going to take a basketry class in September, and <laughs> that should be exciting. Oh, basketry? Oh, <laughs> sign me up now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and after that? After that, um, I'm going to go to school next year. And where are you going to go to school? Um, University of Minnesota, hopefully, and I'm planning on getting my bachelor's in English and then joining the Peace Corps and teaching English as a second language for two years. The Peace Corps, that seems like everybody joined the Peace Corps back in the 60s. Now, is that coming back to be popular again? I don't know if it is. I kind of decided when I was younger, sixth grade, about, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you handle, I've seen you around here, you handle, this is a stressful night for a lot of people, uh, and you handle it very well. You do things. <laughs> You're running up and down the stairs. Is that, does that help you deal with it? It does. It just, I don't know, I, I guess stress kind of rolls right off my back. I don't usually let it get to me, so running up and down those stairs helps a lot. Okay. Well, I may try it during a commercial. Uh, good luck to you, Miss North Dakota. Thank you. We'll take a position over there. We'll see what the judges have to say. Heidi Jo Langseth. We move on to Miss New York, Beth Savage. Beth, a 16-year-old honor student who has received numerous awards for horseback riding and jumping. Miss New York. You know, when I think of Miss New York, I think, hey, how you doing, Miss Brooklyn, huh? Yet you're from a different part of New York State. Yes, I'm from upstate, right on Lake Ontario. Uh, tell us about your hometown. My hometown is very small. The population is about 4,500, but the district I live in is a school district, and there's a lot less. We only have about 40 people in our each grade. And our graduating class this year is about 26. 26 people in yeah. class? So that's easy. You know everybody's name. De definitely. We know everybody. <laughs> okay, so that's a smaller class than we had here today. Um, I know you're big into horses, uh, and you can judge the personality of a horse, I'm told, by their mood. How, how do you do that? Well, they give you different signs with their ears or the way they act. And you always know if they buck you off, they're really mad, so... <laughs> <laughs> so if you're laying on the ground, you know. Yeah. That's, anybody can figure that out, but you can right. uh, get a little jump on it there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and after high school, what are your plans? I'd like to become a psychologist in a high school in New York City. In New York City? Yes. You, you, and you also work uh, at peer counseling a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us a little something about uh, um, what you do there. I'm planning on taking a course next year, as soon as my schedule allows it to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, well, you've seen a lot of the chaperones here so far. Would you ever think about maybe, since you're peer counseling, coming back and being a chaperone for the girls down the line? Oh, I definitely would. It's been, they've been great for us, and I'd like to give something back, and I know all the girls really appreciate them. It would yeah. be a wonderful feeling. Have they been a good group of friends? Oh, definitely. I made a lot of friends here. Okay. Miss New York, good luck to you. Thank Take you. a position over there, and we will see what the judges have to say about Beth Savage. We move on now to Miss South Dakota, Lisa Williamson. She's a 17-year-old junior from Rapid City. She enjoys dancing, photography, and all sports. You're a very active person, but I'm told at five months of age, you had a talent to do something. What was that? Well, when I was five months old, my mom would sing me lullabies. And she sang the same one every night before she put me to bed. And after a while, I got so used to it that she'd stop and I'd hum either the next note or I'd continue on what she was. Uh -huh. Did she ever figure out maybe you were sick of that one, you wanted a new one? <laughs> I don't know. She's always been pretty cool about that. She laughs about it. Uh -huh. uh, now tell me about uh, your plans after high school. After high school, I'm, going, I'm thinking about photography, possibly acting. I love to act. I love entertaining people. Uh -huh. Acting, photography. You could take your own pictures. Um, <laughs> 
If you had to choose one, which would it be? Probably acting. I love being in front of a crowd. Mm -hmm. Now, somebody uh, wanted me to ask you, if you were to start a new life somewhere else, where would you pick? If I was to start a life somewhere else, that's a hard question, because I like South Dakota a lot. It's really beautiful. Probably Australia. I hear it's gorgeous over there. Australia? Okay, now I know you guys, and we've all been asked a lot of dumb questions at these <laughs> things, including by me, but uh, what's the dumbest question you've heard so far? The dumbest question is probably, would you be happy if you were Miss Teen South Dakota in and my state pageant? I well, got you already that. are, right? So. Well, yeah, now I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a dumb question, and did you tell them it's a dumb question, or did you just play along? No, I played along. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lisa, take a position over there. We'll see what the judges have to say about Miss South Dakota. Good luck. Lisa Williamson. We move on to our next semi-finalist, Miss Vermont, Kara Quinn. Kara is a 15-year-old junior from Rutland. She's the captain of a junior varsity soccer team and has received numerous awards for ski racing. And Kara, I know that you are the youngest contestant here, right? Yes, I am. I'm very proud. I'm only 15 years old, and here I am. And, and I'm very proud of myself. I think all the girls should be extremely proud of themselves to come here and just to be who they are, and it's just great. Any advantage to being the youngest? Do you? Well, I don't know. Um, Less wrinkles? <laughs> well, yes. Everyone's really, really nice to me. I, um, everyone's just great. Uh -huh. Any disadvantage to being the youngest? From this pageant, none. There's no disadvantage to this pageant. The girls don't go, you're only 15, how would you know that? We're 16, no. you know. No, they're all really nice to me, and they, you know, I listen to them, and they listen to me, and it's great. Uh -huh. And I read that you like Madonna. Now, do you like her music, or do you, do you identify with her image? I like her music. Um, the way she sings and the words that she puts into it is just so uplifting and lighthearted. It's just wonderful. She gets you in the best mood. I listen to her all the time when I go running, and I just run a little more each time. <laughs> okay, and you're only a junior this fall. Do um, you have plans yet for uh, what you want to do after high school? Um, yes, I want to go to New York City and go to college at the F Fashion Institute of Technology mm -hmm. and hopefully get into a modeling agency there. Um, it's been my dream since I was six years old, and then I want to st also study interior design. Uh -huh. and, and why do you want to be Miss Teen USA? Well, I want to make a difference not only to other people, but to myself. I've always been really um, into making um, the most out of myself mm -hmm. and just being who you are and trying your best at everything. It just really makes you feel good. Okay, Kara, good luck. Take a position over there. We'll see what the judges have to say about Miss Vermont, Kara Quinn. We move to our last semi-finalist in the interview, Miss Idaho, Brandy Sherwood. Brandy's from Idaho Falls. She's an honor student, award-winning cheerleader, enlisted in an outstanding high school students of America. Now, I read that you want a career in daytime drama. Why daytime? Yes, I sure do. I think in acting, I'd love to be on a soap opera. I think you can escape your own character and move into another one, and I think that would be very exciting, maybe play a villain on a show, because it seems like the people are most interested on the, in the people playing, causing all the trouble in the yeah. movies. The villains, the people you love to hate. Right. You think you'd be good at that? I think so. It's very different from my personality, but I played part, a part once that was like that, and I had a lot of fun with it. Uh -huh. You know, so much of show business is luck. I'm pretty much proof of that. And... Uh, <laughs> Do you believe in, in good luck, good luck charms? I sure do. In fact, I have a four-leaf clover in my shoe as we speak. My Aunt Debbie gives me a four-leaf clover for every competition that I do, and it's always worked. It's always given me good luck, and I give one to all my friends that compete, and it's always worked. How, how do you know it works? Well, I guess it's been a chain reaction so far, and I, every friend I've given one to has done well in their competition, so I'm not superstitious, but I believe in positive thinking in four-leaf clovers. Okay, can we see it? Sure. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he doesn't believe me. These shoes are small, but it's in there, I promise. Oh, okay, well, listen, Brandy, take a position over there. Good luck to you. We'll see what the judges have to say about Miss Idaho, Brandy Sherwood.
We will be back with the swimsuit.